back again with another video and today I'm doing more of my restarting the UFC series but if you guys want to see more of this please like and subscribe if you're new and it just popped up for some reason but anyway last time we did I want to say UFC 16 wait what oh no UFC 15 and then I booked my next car, which I said will probably have some changes to it. But anyway, like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. And, uh, yeah, support this series if you want more of it. I mean, that's pretty obvious. But yeah, and enough with that. Enough with the intro stuff. Let's get into booking the show. Alright, listen, Gamora, we need someone who can sell tickets at our light heavyweight division for sure. Gamora, he's 1-0. Hmm. Oh. I mean, jeez, Coleman made a lot. Chemo is up there. Frank Shamrock is up there. Oh, I saw Frank. Where's Frank? Oh, he's he was Hugo Duarte. Anyway, Couture. Is Couture going to be available? Randy, the natural Couture. I don't think he's... Yeah, he's not available. That stinks. Alright, we're going to simulate a week. Again. But I sort of want to save my money in this game until like someone huge pops up, like international or something crazy like that. Because I'm saving my money. Very time is nice. And Bruce Bat, you better can make his debut, right? He light heavyweight, mm, middleweight. Oh, we don't have any middleweight. Hmm. Let's see. I said Coleman was gonna be available. So what if I move Coleman to like a light heavyweight for a little bit, and then he can just have a fight with Frank Shamrock? Jeez. When is this show? Sunday week one of June. It's another like week again. Still in May. Like, we're still in May. But, if you guys want this series to continue, give it a like. Give this video a like and comment below. Alright, right three is going on. John Luber, you gotta be kidding me. The main event. I don't know, the John Luber fight got canceled. Cancelled. So. Lorenzo Racy. Well, guess what? You, you have to take this fight on a very short notice. Mid level regional. Okay. Uh, Reese's our champ. Bam. Here we go. I didn't get a main event plan. Boom! Gosh darn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to move Mark Coleman to light heavyweight just for this fight to happen. Move. Perfect. And now, it's Mark Coleman versus Frank Shamrock. Is the main event. Boom, boom, bam, ba. And that's our main event for this card. Let's see. Kamor can just take on the highest ranking guy in Walid. Bam. 
Valid. I, I could stay on the car and being fight card or whatever. Alright. We're going into week four of May. Oh yeah, we should probably sign some people, huh? Bunch of local fighters are fighting against other guys. Do 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 do. Jeez, and sometimes this game takes a while to load. Oh, banker or er, yeah, banker is unfinished business. Boss rooted is in the main event again for them. See, I like Friday. They have like other guys in the main event for them. And nobody's available to fight. Coleman's gonna take a French chain rock from the main event. And it's probably gonna be Coleman winning this fight. Ooh, it's close. But yeah. Mark the hammer, Coleman. Oh. I'm gonna simulate two weeks. Yeah, I'll simulate two weeks. And let me know what you guys you want me to sign in the comment section below. This is probably gonna be a way shorter video than before. Because. Yeah, just because. Oh, bam. Skip ball except the main event. Hopefully, Randleman wins his fight, but. Bam. On top, we have Mark Coleman taking on Frank Shamrock in the 286 to 213. Elsewhere on the card, Marco Huas, who lost in his decision in his previous fight, to beat Dan Severn fights for the first time, including Mark Coleman by, by submission. Oh, yeah. Ooh, four for Coleman. Two best pound for pound. Coleman seven. Chara 14. It's the third time Clark Coleman has made a vintage. Second for Chara. It's fighting it between teammates. Oh, okay. 4 3. 4 3. Chara is second rank opponent. Second rank heavyweight in UFC. Rush 5. 7 1. 3 of his last fight by decision. First time they fall, and Severin will have a great advantage. 7 0 Gracie. 7 0 Kerr, 7 0 Kimura, 7 0 Randleman, and then 7 0 Jose Landry Jones. Yep, totally did not butcher that name at all. Anyway, it's time for the main event. The Hammer, Mark Coleman, faces Frank Shamrock in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Let me know you guys are rooting for in this fight. And yeah, bam. Oh, Howard Clark, a new guy, is the referee. Judge are Brian Smith, Warren Lane, and Wesley Leroy. Coleman looks a good 30 pounds heavier than his opponent. And here we go. Luke Shamrock steps in, looking to unleash. Cole, Coleman might have been aiming to get close, but Shamrock aggressively took the initiative. Shamrock can't hit a setup left jab and hits a nice straight right. Came Take an attempt from Coleman. He gets the takedown. Shamrock has to pull guard. Clearly worried by the submission threat. Coleman keeps very tight to Shamrock and peppers him with short strikes. Coleman lands, lands back to avoid a couple of wild swings from Shamrock. Not giving his opponent any room to work. Coleman keeps close body to body contact while throwing short strikes to the head and the body. Guard a leg. Shamrock attempts a sweep of some time. Coleman blocks the attempt. Not allowing his opponent any room to, to work submissions from. Coleman keeps close to contact and throws short, stinging strikes. Shamrock grabs an arm and raises his legs, trying to lock him into a triangle choke. But Coleman blocks the attempt. Coleman peppers Shamrock with small strikes, making sure to keep 
very type and not give him any room to work with. Jack has his near an arm. Coleman fends off Shamrock and doesn't give up an arm. Coleman fires a handful of punches. He's easily blocked on the, with gloves. Coleman or Shamrock brings his leg up and try to lock him in a triangle choke. Coleman blocks it. Coleman takes a few weak looking punches as he decides in his next move. Re reaching for legs, Shamrock seems to be looking for a sweep variation. Coleman blocks the sweep attempt. With no progress being made, the referee brings the fighter back to their feet. Coleman appeared to be going for a takedown, but Shamrock simply took the initiative first. A 1 2 from Shamrock fails to land. Shamrock lands a jab and then lands a right hand. Shamrock throws a quick 1 2 but doesn't land either or both. Coleman moves in fast and clinches with Shamrock. Coleman attempts to wrestle Shamrock to the ground. He has takedown, Shamrock pulls guard. Coleman attempts to pass guard and gain a better position. Shamrock lost the pass, but just a blood to allow him to try to scramble. Shamrock ends up with Coleman grabbing Shamrock and shoving him up against the cage. With Shamrock stuck against the cage, Coleman tries to complete the takedown by going, by going low and grabbing both legs. He gets the takedown, using the fact that Shamrock was pressed against the cage to his advantage. Shamrock ends up sitting his leg trapped under Coleman with his back pressed against the cage. Coleman starts to try to get Shamrock on his back so he can gain a better position. He does well and manages to get side control over Shamrock. Coleman fires away with punches, but Shamrock doesn't take any undue damage. Shamrock tries to move to guard, but Coleman doesn't allow it. Coleman trying to unlock Shamrock into a Kimura. Shamrock stops Coleman from applying it. Coleman blocks an attempt to pull guard. Coleman pounds away, but Shamrock is in trouble by strikes. By the strikes. Shamrock tries to pull guard on Coleman, but doesn't get anywhere with the attempt. Coleman fires a few punches as he catches his breath. Shamrock tries to pull guard on Coleman, but doesn't get anywhere with the attempt. Coleman looks to get a mount. He loses control momentarily as he tries to mount and the criminal begins. Sh okay, so he shoves him up against the cage again. Oh, he's going for another takedown. Oh, he gets the takedown. Shamrock gets up his back. Coleman tries to get a body triangle hooked up, but can't. Shamrock blocks. Sh Coleman blocks Shamrock as he tries to roll over. Coleman treats his control by applying a body triangle with great control via the body triangle. He gets a he tries to get rear naked, but Shamrock didn't allow the arm to go under his chin. Coleman going for another rear naked. He gets he gets him flattened out and a rear naked and makes him tap. The winner by submission, the hammer mark Coleman. Giving thanks, Coleman praises his team at Wyandstand, his various sponsors, and the fans who came out to support him. He says he has a lot of respect for Frank Shamrock and praises his toughness. 1,453 1, people came to see this fight. And he made 161000 off the pay-per-view. It wasn't good critically. Yeah, so we're going to lose fans again. Yep. Fight of the night went to the Walid fight. Oh wait, hold on. Here my helmet. Okay, good. He beat him. Nice. Torn it. K. And Shamrock only made. Geez, he only made 5k off that shit. Oh. Coleman beats Shamrock. The main event of USC 16 Seek and Destroy has just finished, and Coleman has been victorious by beating Frank Shamrock in submission. At 12:15 of the first round, and a lot of people. Oh, he failed to make weight. Oh, Walid. Two years. All right, 18 months. Okay, I'll be back. Ten dollars. Bam. Oh, Coleman. Yes. Jeez, Coleman has been doing really good for 10 years. How's about retirement? Found a team. Okay. Doesn't have any plans about retiring, so we give him 6 years for 10 fights. Fights. Yeah, 3 are guaranteed. 
jeez. Okay, main event mode is 12, 12, 12. It's all going up to 12. And now we'll go up to 16. Five. We're up to 14. 14, 14. And it's a signing bonus. 4,285. Or 75. Bam. Giza. Hmm. Oh, he's the 14 best super heavyweight, so I guess, sure. Got to 850. Bam. And Brian Johnston. Sure. Now you get a one fight guaranteed. Sixteen hundred, that's it. Bam. You failed to make weight. Okay. Let's see. So that made fourteen K, sixteen K. Gee that and Kevin Chairrock. Frank Shamrock. It's I think I'm Frank Shamrock right, just like not good critically. But when Coleman fights, it's good critically. Jeez, man. Okay. Well, that's the end of this episode. I don't know what guys you want me to like, get in the comment section below. Make sure there's anybody that I like. Ooh, Laverne Clark. Two years. Up to 850. Or can the Randall man cheap? Let's see. How good is he now? Fights for us once on the prelims, and now he's worth 1,800. 20 days. Okay, not bad. Alright, let's save. That's the end of this episode. But let me know who you want me to sign in the comments below. And yeah. Bye.